This video is about Mendel's laws and genetics. What does it mean to be dominant? The most powerful or influential individual in a group is sometimes called dominant. In genetics, dominant traits mean nearly the same thing. A dominant trait is the most influential trait and it masks the other traits. So let's look at dominance. Do you remember what happened when Mendel crossed purple flowered plants and white flowered plants? All of the offspring had purple flowers. There was no blending of traits in any of Mendel's experiments. Mendel had to come up with a theory of inheritance to explain his results. He developed a theory called the law of segregation. Now let's look at the law of segregation. Mendel proposed that each pea plant had two hereditary factors for each trait. There were two possibilities for each hereditary factor, such as purple factor or white factor. One factor is dominant to the other. The other trait that is masked is called the recessive factor, meaning that when both factors are present, only the effects of the dominant factor are noticeable. Although you have two hereditary factors for each trait, each parent can only pass on one of these factors to the offspring. When the sex cells or gametes form, hereditary factors must separate, so there is only one factor per gamete. In other words, the factors are segregated into gametes. Mendel's law of segregation states that two hereditary factors separate when gametes are formed. When fertilization occurs, the offspring receive one hereditary factor from each gamete, so the resulting offspring has two factors. The law of segregation predates our understanding of meiosis. Mendel developed his theories without even an understanding of our DNA, or even knowledge that DNA even existed. Quite a remarkable feat. In pea plants, the purple flowers are dominant to the white. If one of these purple flowers is crossed with one of the white flowers, the offspring will have purple flowers. This is an example of what we call a cross. Also, it's an example of a Punnett square, which we'll learn more about in our next lesson. The law of segregation explains what Mendel had seen in the F1 generation when the tall plant was crossed with a short plant. The two hereditary factors in this case were the short and tall factors. Each individual in the F1 generation would have one of each factor. And as the tall factor is dominant to the short factor, all of the plants appeared tall. In describing genetic crosses, letters are used. The dominant factor is represented with a capital letter, T is used for tall, while the recessive factor is represented by the lowercase same letter, so a lowercase t in this example. For capital T and lowercase t factors, three combinations are possible. Capital capital, capital lowercase, and lowercase lowercase. Capital T capital T plants will be tall, while plants with two lowercase t's will be short. Since capital T is dominant to lowercase t, plants that have one capital T and one lowercase t will be tall because the dominant factor masks the recessive factor. In this example, we are crossing a double capital tall plant with a double lowercase short plant. Each parent gives one factor to the F1 generation. Therefore, all of the F1 generation will have one capital and one lowercase t and will be tall plants. When the F1 generation is allowed to self-pollinate, each parent will give one factor, capital or lowercase t, to the F2 generation. So the F2 generation offspring will have four possible combinations of factors, capital capital, capital lowercase, lowercase capital, or lowercase lowercase. According to the laws of probability, 25% of offspring will be lowercase lowercase. So they will appear short and 75% will have at least one tall T, or capital T, factor, and so the plants will be tall. Let's summarize, shall we? One hereditary factor is dominant to the other. The dominant trait masks the recessive factor so that when both factors are present, only the effects of the dominant factor are noticeable. According to Mendel's law of segregation, 
there are two hereditary factors for each trait that must segregate during gamete production. As a result, offspring receive one factor from each parent, resulting in two factors for each trait on the offspring. Segregate.